All right. Well, rain's coming in, so it's sprinkling on us, but we'll be okay. Not too worried about that. There is a storm coming in, so luckily my boss let me go a little early. Let's see how the audio recording on. Oh, motherfucker. Forgot to button up my helmet. That would be dangerous. You do at least be safe. Drop my glove. Having a grand old time now. So I'm gonna go work from home. Ah, oh, it's just sprinkling. What is up, sons? So I'm trying the audio recorder on the phone, which I don't think is actually gonna be that good because when we were testing the audio uh, for the live stream, that didn't come out very well either. So this might be a dead vlog as well. Um, one of the things that works really well with the zoom is that I can adjust the levels. And because I can adjust the levels, um, what that allows me to do is uh, stop it from peaking. And the phone software really just auto adjusts everything. Um, and so auto adjustment isn't that good, to be honest with you, um, because it allows for the peaking. Other things that it does is um, when you're when you're riding, um, the faster you go. So if I get on the highway, for example. So right now my strategy to be able to complete this vlog is to not get on the highway. Is that the auto level adjustment will actually crank it up when you're not talking so when I'm not talking what it'll do is try to pick up some sort of sound and the sound that starts trying to pick up is the wind which is the exact sound I'm trying to get rid of it completely defeats the purpose and it just doesn't work right now I tried to see if I had another audio recording option I did not and obviously I'm trying to hurry home because of the rainstorm that's coming in well that's kind of the whole story there um, we're just gonna take the back roads and stay slow even though I'm in a hurry I'm not in such a hurry that when I get on the highway or anything like that today's video topic is and we already talked about it all morning on the live stream we're, we've been testing trying to live stream didn't work out very well uh, primarily because of the audio issue so this might not work out that well either as long as we keep it slow it'll be okay though so the video topic was business casual and commuting on a motorcycle Ta-da! So, um, they're just discussing like the best clothes, the best strategies, so on and so forth. Now there are days when you don't look at the weather and you end up maybe not getting stuck in the rain on the way to work. That's only happened to maybe once or twice to me. Maybe once. Um, and that's going to just be a problem no matter what. But it is a lot more likely to get stuck in the rain on the way home from work, uh, which has happened to me a lot more. That happens a lot more often. And when that happens, well, you're just gonna get wet, get over it, it's fine. You're not gonna die. Uh, strategies for that obviously would be uh, taking back roads, not going too fast, pulling over if you need to, being really careful with the slick roads. Uh, especially on a sport bike. I mean, you're gonna have on a cruiser probably um, Tires are gonna be able to handle the rain a little bit better depending uh, For example those Dunlops on the Harleys are usually okay with handling wet roads at least considerably better than what comes stock on something like uh, this SV650 here or any other even sport to uh, sport touring models are a little bit better to um, any sport bike any sport bike, even if it's a naked like this, uh, is going to have a little bit more issues. So be extra, extra careful. That being said, we're going to get a little wet. But what are some of my strategies for, you know, business casual and riding motorcycle? Well, number one is a jacket. So a jacket's going to help you uh, with multiple things. First of all, it's going to protect you if you go down, sort of. Let's be honest, if you're going to go down on the street, it's it's gonna hurt uh, and you might prevent some road rash stuff like that but you know 
to get hit um, or you go down hard and you were going to break a bone, it's not going to prevent you from breaking a bone or anything like that. So, um, you prevent some road rash, etc, etc. But just get a jacket, it's the easiest thing to do. If you can't get a jacket and you're wearing a collared shirt to work, obviously get some stain wipes in case you hit a bug and then uh, you just gonna have to clean that out but what i like to do is actually take the collar and flip it under and um, that's going to be super important because if you leave the collar out it's going to start slapping on your neck and you're going to get to work and look like you got a hickey uh, which may be something you're into maybe not maybe you want people to think you got a hickey i don't like getting slapped in the neck with my collar so i just tuck it in if i don't have a jacket or i can't get one it's the easiest thing to do. The other thing you can do is just fold it up, throw it in a rucksack. I always have a backpack. I work in IT, so I keep all of my tools of my trade in my backpack, uh, laptop, etc. And it's big enough to fit a couple chains of clothes. Now, usually what goes in there, though, for me in particular, is jeans or slacks. So let's talk about slacks and whether you should get riding pants or not so i don't like riding pants i live in texas so it gets pretty hot and if you're going to be running running riding pants on top of the jacket and so on and so forth it's just going to get really hot i prefer to ride in jeans um but on the way to work and even actually right now you'll see i'm wearing slacks uh, i wear dockers and they're slightly thicker and i wear the dockers straight fit um, they're not so thin. You need to go test them on, test try them on because there are like the super thin dockers that you can get uh, from like, I don't know, anywhere like Kohl's or whatever. And they're going to be too thin. They're not going to feel good when you're riding. I mean, they could. You might get some extra wind in there, but I, I don't like them. They're usually also the thinner ones are a little bit more of a stretch fit and uh, as opposed to the straight fit. So... Uh, getting your leg up and over a bike is a little bit more difficult in non straight fit I think straight fits about about perfect, you know, we're not going for style points here. However, I will say um, If you are in business casual, I don't qualify uh, Dickies as business casual and I think a lot of people don't either um, I hear a lot of people say I just like to wear my Dickies for business casual sure if you're, you know, I don't know, working as a server or um, I used to wear dickies if I was working the front at the shop when I used to be a motorcycle mechanic. That's fine. Um, but I think if you're doing like any sort of client facing stuff, um, you're probably, you're just not going to have the, the greatest look with dickies. Uh, I don't I think it's a little too casual uh, for the most part and so I don't really recommend it but that being said you also don't want something so thin uh, or too tight that you can't get your your legs over the bike or anything like that now what you can do is throw your slacks in your backpack and the best way to do that is going to be just rolling them up uh, it's going to keep most of the wrinkles out folding them up and then throwing in the backpack they're going to kind of fall down wrong and then they're going to get wrinkles and crap in them but if you actually just take your time and roll them up it's a lot less likely that you're going to get wrinkles between whatever your commute is obviously depending on how uh, far your commute is and usually you can also keep the crease in that way as well which is, I, I like creases, I guess, because I'm an old man. I think they look good. But, yeah, so there you go. I think, um, I think that pretty much wraps up the pants. Uh, the rest of the gear, you know, gloves, just always wear gloves. I don't really get the guys that don't wear gloves. You can not, you don't have to wear, like, these belts with uh, protected knuckles. Um, I actually prefer, like, motocross gloves. And um, good cheap gloves, like if you go to an advanced auto parts like that or an AutoZone 
Uh, you can get those mechanics gloves, usually on sale too, and they work really, really well for the price. I think these belts were on sale though for like $22, so not a terrible idea. I liked them because they matched the jacket that I had. Um, so that's why I have them. And then the shoes, the final part, you're just not going to want to wear your work shoes on your motorcycle for multiple reasons. Typically, they have a pretty slick bottom. They do make some. You could get some, you know, business casual boots, so on. You're going to get them beat up or rained on. Um, I prefer to take care of my work shoes, if that makes sense. Oh, we're starting, the rain's starting to come down. Dang! So, <laughs> woo! Um, so I'm not a big fan of wearing any shoes, or even the boots. Because you're also going to nick them up when you go and hit the shifter. Stuff like that. Um, you go through a puddle, you get some water on them. I'd rather have something a little bit more water resistant. I have the water resistant canvas built. They're really cheap. They're like 40 bucks. I'd say water resistant, but not waterproof. They definitely get wet, and we're about to get wet here. As well as my phone, but luckily that's a Galaxy S8. An older Samsung Android phone that is uh, waterproof, unlike the older iPhones. So there you go. Water resistant, I should say. Take it in the shower all the time. Don't ask me what I do in there with it. Alright? It's not appropriate. It's not appropriate for you to know. It's, it's a private question. Alright, so, um, the boots, you know, these are a little bit more casual. These aren't boots, they're shoes. Woo! We are wet. <laughs> oh, what a bust. We're going to try to get under this bridge here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, dry. Yeah. I don't want to get out of it. Um, so that pretty much wraps up business casual. I am stuck in the rain, but it'll be okay I'm just gonna go straight home and change Throw on some shorts. It's basically like we got to go swimming today On what was previously a hot summer day Just going swimming on a hot summer day Um, the jacket seems to help a lot with the rain though, by the way. I mean, we're getting pelted pretty good. I don't know how I'm going to dry my jacket. But, uh, you know, whatever. Maybe we can, uh, just pull over here. <laughs> uh, I don't even know if I need to pull over. I'm not too worried about it. It's not like pouring. I just don't like that my jacket's getting this wet because I don't have a good way to dry it off. If that makes sense. But I think it's uh, probably a little too late at this point. I think it's, we're just, I'll just have to get like a blow dryer or something and dry it, off, dry it off. The plan to leave early didn't work. I think it was more of a east to west wind, or west to east wind, and not a north to south. So I thought maybe if I left, we would get out before the, uh, get out before it got bad. I am just going to try to take, uh, Nicoma. Because I'm not about to get on the highway in the rain. So we'll just pop into Nicoma and it'll be okay. So those are my strategies for the business casual. Hope you enjoyed that. Strategies for rain. I don't got it. I should really uh, get some rainproof equipment and just throw it in the rucksack as well. I used to have some, um, but then I got old. And when you get older, you also get bigger. Not fatter, bigger right i'm just more filled out i have a man's body now 
hence the boys rainproof gear don't fit no more so what I'm going to try to do is I don't want to stay on the access road I am actually just going to go around this back way here um, I've ridden the rain quite a few times it doesn't bother me too much as long as I'm going home I suppose it does bother me with these tires though you can kind of feel I haven't been happy with these tires even on the dry though they're pretty hard po -po. and so the first thing we're, we're going to do the SV is definitely change out the tires um, it just has to get done And then I'm going to check the weather for tomorrow and see if we can even ride tomorrow. I thought we were going to get more days to ride than we really have been getting. Um, because if I had to go on site, I mean like tomorrow, I can't go on site in the rain on the bike, obviously. So, that wouldn't work. You know what's funny is we're probably going to get home and it's going to clear right up. I'm going to get home and it's just going to clear right up. And I'm going to be like, why didn't I just stay at work? I didn't stay at work because my boss said, hurry up and go home. And waiting it out might have been a better plan because I'm really upset about my jacket being so wet. Look how dry it is over there. Yeah, so it was like a east to west thing for sure. Now we got some hard water all over the bike. I'll dry it off when I get home. I'm going to tuck this uh, charging cable down below. My pants didn't even get wet. They just changed colors. Oh, uh, singing in the rain. Just singing in the rain. I don't actually know the words to that song, to be honest with you. And it is getting very slick here. There's a scooter. Hey, at least he's not in the cage. I was just looking at uh, 125s, play bikes. I also want something I can teach mama on. Um, I was super disappointed that basically any of the 125cc bikes that are cheap are like, I don't know, are not cheap, um, aren't cheap, and by that I mean like they're like $3,200 and shit, but if you get a, we're going to take this back road. Oh, I am soaked. But they have this one that you can get called the, um, what is it? Rack Skull? It's like a rascal, but Rack Skull. R A K. Or R A, I don't know. I'll link it down below. And they're a little cheaper. They're basically like a carbureted version of the Grom or the, uh, the Kawasaki 125, I forgot the abbreviation for it. The problem is, they don't actually, there's no dealers in Texas. And there's like one that I can buy in like, I think it's something like crazy, like Abilene or something. And I couldn't find any to order online. And really like, if I'm gonna spend like two grand on something to teach mama on, I think I just wanna grab one of those electric bikes. Um, A, because they're cool. B, because not many people have them. And C, because they'll ship them for free. With flexible financing options. And I forgot the name of those two, but I'll find them. We'll talk about them at some point. Um, I'm really disappointed in how wet my jacket is. The rest of the shit I'm not really... Not really that worried about. Um... But the jacket's brand new. 
and isn't going to dry off very easy. So that sucks. Um, shit happens though. It didn't pour bad. No lightning. We made it home safe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next Tuesday.